YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What are the chances Palantir stock stays above $30 in September? Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit that like button as we continue to grow the channel. I would appreciate it. Now, there's several different factors to kind of gauge what direction Palantir could potentially go for the month of September. But more specifically, is this stock going to stay above $30 as we go into a historically, I wouldn't say catastrophic month, but September is one of those months where stocks tend to sell off. Now, the first particular thing we need to look into is the option activity, okay? So that, that can potentially tell us a lot. And I know this will start to uh, alter as this month goes on, but more specifically, let's look into the option chains. But before we get into that, okay, we want to kind of look at the current trend right now. And we can see that the current trend was bullish going up to the upside. But starting at about, I would say, what, month, what day was this? I would say about August 22nd, this is when the trend started to come out of range. So everything on this left side is within range of us continuing the trend on the daily chart. And pretty much we started to come a little bit outside of this thing around August 21st going into the 22nd. And so from that perspective, we're we're out of range right now. And we could, could potentially start to see if there's going to be another trend to the upside that could potentially arise. But let's go ahead and look into the uh, options chain, unusual options chain. You guys know I like to look into that. So it's loading up for us. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Now, as of now, as we look at the options over the last day, the last trading day, you can see there's a nice amount of volume as it pertains to unusual activity. And unusual activity in, in inside the Moomoo Moo desktop app is more geared towards big money coming in and, and what they're planning on doing with these particular stocks, okay? So... Let me change this. I don't know why it's showing that spot, but okay, there we go. So you can see over the last day, you can see there are active buys with expiration dates going all the way up to it looks like November. So in the long run, this is kind of where they're speculating maybe a quick pop over the next couple of days as they give them, themselves some time to make a quick profit. So look at the, the sales side of the, I'm sorry, the put side of the spectrum, right? So you've got some active buys here over the last day. And so I would say things are pretty neutral right now, but over the next couple of trading days, especially going into next week, I'll be interested to see how many of the investors are going to view Palantir going forward, okay? So this is something we need to keep an eye on. So another thing we need to look at is analyst prediction. Now, as of right now, you can see that analysts have Palantir with the average price of $25.69, and the highest analyst has this thing at $38, and the lowest is $9. So currently, we're on the higher end of the spectrum. And so this, this kind of tells me on average, putting everything together, our downside could potentially be $25, not necessarily in a month of September, but I would say over the next two to three months or so, we could be potentially coming back to retest $25. I'm not saying that's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen in this historically negative month along with what's going on geopolitically. We've got, you know, presidential elections going on. And so from that perspective, you just got to kind of keep an eye on these things as things are going to start to change. Now, if we scroll down here, we can see, okay, 
the the latest as it pertains to upgrades and downgrades and we can see northland capital has them as a market perform so they view them as doing well going forward the latest from goldman sachs is neutral obviously meaning that it can go either way and then you have raymond james outperform rbc capital under underperform Deutsche Bank has it as a sale. So it's just a mixed bag here. And this is what makes it really difficult to get for a lot of investors to kind of see which direction this thing is going. And this is why it's very important to keep your eye on what's going on with the charts. So if you don't understand charts, this is why it's important to educate yourself. Now, Another factor is market conditions. What are the markets going to be doing overall? Um, and how will that impact a Palantir for staying at or above $30 in the month of September? So market conditions are definitely going to play a part. So conversely, if there is a market volatility or downturn, it could it could put pressure on the stock to go lower. But as of right now, We've come outside of that upward trend, at least on the daily chart. Now on the weekly, we're still positive, but I like to bring th things down a, a little more micro than the weekly chart. So from this perspective, if we can continue the momentum to the upside, that's gonna be better for the stock. But, you know, once the middle of the month comes and we start again to that third week of September, that's traditionally when that downturn starts to happen as we go into the month of October. So keeping an eye on the market conditions is something we're gonna have to keep an eye on. And we're gonna do that by looking at the charts, seeing what's going on. And, and that goes for the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ, which they all kind of have been doing their own thing over the last couple of months. but collectively in a month like this they're more than likely going to move in the same direction and so that's why we have to keep our eye on the condition of the markets now let's talk about the the the, the fundamental factors for palantir so we've got to consider financial health which includes revenue growth profitability we've just had earnings so we're good there. We beat on earnings. We beat on revenue. Forward guidance looks to be good. We've got a partnership with uh, Microsoft and many other players in the space. And so now it's a matter of are there any upcoming events that can help the stock go higher or maintain where it is? Or is there something that could potentially bring the stock lower as it pertains to total impact? and the investor confidence, okay? So hopefully this month, investor confidence is gonna be as high as it is right now, and we continue the momentum going upward. Now, the last thing is technical analysis, which we kind of spoke about where we are right now, at least on the daily chart. And then the current market sentiment, right now I would say is neutral. It's a mixed bag, although I know the the media is really strong on this being a terrible month but like we've seen this year you got to kind of take what they say with a grain of salt they'll tell you one thing and then they'll set you up and they'll profit on the other end of the spectrum and so just because traditionally over the last several years this month has not necessarily been the greatest i think that there's a 57 percent chance that the market will move to the downside but that still gives you a 43% chance that it won't, right? So just because the last several years have not traditionally been great doesn't mean this year is going to be the same way. And so this is why it's important to do your technical analysis and, and keep an eye on the chart, understand what's going on, understand your trends, know what your levels of support and resistance are, uh, no matter if you're day trading, swing trading, if you're, you're long term, I wouldn't say it necessarily has that big of an impact. But if you want to get in at lower prices, maybe you got to be a little bit more patient. But if you feel good with just dollar cost averaging, 
no matter what the price is and you've got that consistency, you got your plan and you're sticking to it, then hey, you got to do what you got to do, okay? Overall, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, we'll see if Palantir can stay above $30 for the month of September. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep you updated. And we're out. Peace.